I truly believe the small joys and little pleasures of life are where the fondest memories are made. When you simply fall in love with being alive. The sound of crunching leaves, a hot cup of coffee, lighting a candle, or two, or five. Dancing in the kitchen after work just because you want to, or the joy of opening up a new book. When you look for the bits of beauty in everyday life, that is where the real magic happens. Good morning everybody. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. It is currently about 7.50 and I long on to work at 8 so I wanted to make sure I started this off before I started work and of course since I am filming on a work day I have to put the disclaimer in that I will not be filming while I'm on the clock only on my designated work breaks before work and after work. Get a little spiel out of the way. I haven't said that one in a while, but I'm really excited because today we are going to kind of bounce off of the perfect fall day video I filmed the other day, but kind of film like a weekday edition and show you guys how I romanticize the little moments of autumn and fall and spooky season during a work day because while it's all fun and games to go to the pumpkin patch and go book shopping and kind of do all these things on the weekend, I think there are so many little ways you can always romanticize your everyday life during the autumn or not even during autumn you can kind of take any of these at any point of the year really and i'm really excited to take you guys along on my day today if you guys are new here i'm an academic coordinator in a specific department in the hospital and i am a work from home hybrid employee and i work three to four days a week and don't be fooled i do not get ready every single day and have jeans on by 7 50 um but thursdays are usually my jam-packed meeting days where i have to have my camera on or i enjoy having my camera on and so it truly starts my day off on a really good note if i just get ready and get dressed for the day i just feel ready to tackle the day but most days i do work in my pajamas especially on the days where i don't have meetings so it makes it a little easier to like get ready this early in the morning if i only have to do it once a week definitely don't look like this every day but i'm really excited to take you guys along on my day because i truly think that the little moments are just what's worth living for i think i've had a really big mindset shift this year specifically this summer um as i it's really sad that something like grief and losing someone really close to you is what kind of makes you change your perspective on life like I wish we could change our perspective without having this big life change occur but um I feel like as I navigate my grief journey one of the big things I have realized is that I have become very it's just the same thing every single day wake up make a coffee work go for a walk have dinner go to bed and I kind of feel like I live on autopilot a little and I really wanted to shift that. I think that when you find joy in the little mundane moments in life, that is truly when you start living and cherishing more. It sounds so silly, but I used to get up and be half asleep and make my coffee and then start work and then that'd be it. But now I have, you know, my little morning coffee routine and I put some jazz music on or this time of year, it's usually like autumn music and I light a candle and I snuggle Stella and then I make my coffee and I try and take a few minutes to read a chapter of a book before work. And it sounds so silly, but those little moments are truly what I like look forward to when I wake up every single day or this morning, for example, I saw the most beautiful sunrise and it put me in the most beautiful mood and the sun rises and sets every single day and you could just not even think twice about it. But I feel like my perspective has really shifted and I just really go into all the little moments in every day with so much gratitude and love to be able to live another day i'm here and i'm breathing and i i'm so grateful for that so 
I'm really excited to take you guys along on today's video. I want you guys to think I do all of this every day because I really don't. I just kind of want to make this vlog like, extra special. So I think um, my lunch break, which I do this actually a decent amount, like once a week I say, I go out and get myself a coffee just to get out of the house and sometimes I'll read in the car or take self for a walk, etc. Um, and then I, I really want to after work maybe go to Farm Boy, which is like our Canadian Trader Joe's because they have so many pumpkin goodies and maybe get some things to try but I don't know we'll see kind of what we get up to after work but I get into work I have a pretty busy morning of back-to-back -back meeting so I'll probably chat with you guys next when we go to get coffee but it's a really rainy gloomy gloomy day so cue some fall ambiance while I work and I'll chat with you guys in a little bit but good morning I am so excited to spend a cozy gloomy autumn day together okay guys I'm taking you through my morning like computer setup because it truly makes my day so Obviously the fall background is a must. I made this one. I think it's the same on both computers. I can link it below It's on my Pinterest board, but then you start the day and you're like, wow I really want to go to the pumpkin patch or like wow I want to watch a spooky movie or read a book or something. I don't know. It just puts me in the best mood It's truly the smallest things that make me so happy And then of course I open like my Microsoft teams my outlook and whatnot and then on my second computer I can walk you guys through days like today where I have like meetings or like you know I, I just can't watch a movie first thing in the morning um I only really do that if I have meeting free days I will put something on for my fall vibes playlist which I'll link down below it's just like a compilation of different like ambiance musics and I love this one this one is definitely Easy. my favorite it is for sure my favorite and I'll usually turn the music down and I'll usually have this on in the background like in a meeting I don't know the cozy crackling of the fire is just like really nice and then I start my work day and I'm like set up for success. All the vibes over here as well. Nice little background for my team's meetings and yeah. Getting ready to head out on my lunch break. I just like need to get out of the house. It's really gloomy and rainy and I find that if I get out of the house and run my errands on my lunch break, especially with my seasonal depression, it just it just works for me. But if you're like a running errands after work kind of person, go for it. If you like to work out in the morning at lunch after work, you do you. This is just what works for me. It kind of breaks up the day for me and I just enjoy getting out of the house. So we're gonna go and grab a coffee and I'm really lucky that we live in the suburbs and I can do all of this in like a 40 minute span. So I'm gonna grab a coffee and just head to Farm Boy. I have to pick up a few little things to have for the next few days. And then I also figured since we're right next to the used bookstore, why not just go walk around? Because that brings me a lot of joy even if I don't buy any books. So I figured we do that just cause it's kind of all in the same area. And yeah, I let still out to pee in the backyard. Usually at lunchtime, if I'm not running errands, we'll go for like a nice long walk, but it's raining pretty hard and it's supposed to stop this afternoon. So we're kind of flipping our routine around. And now that it gets darker earlier in the evening, slowly, like the sun sets at like six, um, I just like to be home in the evening. I'd rather run my errands on my lunch break and kind of be like productive from like eight to four and then have a chill evening. That's just what works for me. So that's what we're gonna do. I've got my cute little trick or treat tote bag. And yeah, it just feels nice to get out of the house and break up the day, especially on gloomy, rainy days with my seasonal depression. It kind of keeps me, or it keeps my mind busy. So that's what we're gonna do. I just took off my jacket and put on this trench coat just cause um, it's raining and it's like a water resistant one. But let's head, can you guys hear how hard it's raining? It's really raining today. Let's head and grab a coffee and just have a nice little lunch break together. We can decompress. I have a lot of work to do this afternoon. So I figured let's get to it.
I scored at the used bookstore. First of all, none of these are fall related, but they bring me joy. The 100 greatest comics from Marvel that built a universe. How effing dope is this? Oh my gosh, if you're new here, big Marvel couple. <laughs> big Marvel couple. I have a Scarlet Witch tattoo. I'm obsessed. Um, yeah, it literally is just all about the first 100 comics. It's the coolest thing ever. And I also am so excited because I've never seen this Great Gatsby before. And if you don't know, The Great Gatsby is my favorite book. It's the book that got me into reading in high school. Shout out to Miss Olszewski. She was my English teacher and we read this together and it was amazing. I collect Great Gatsby books now. I have a few of them and I always think that there's no more to find, but then I found this one today. So uh, yeah, I and it's so cute because I have a PO box, which is like always linked down below. And you guys are so cute whenever you're like thrifting or whatnot and you see a Great Gatsby book. I've had a few of you guys send me them, which is just like, you don't ever have to do that, but it's just the sweetest thing ever. So I found this one today, so excited. And then lastly, I got this book because um, one of our family friends, Taylor, recommended this to me it's been on my tbr for a while and i just kind of have a huge list on my tbr that i look for at thrift stores and i finally found it it's my lovely wife in the psych ward it's a memoir and yeah she told me it was really really great and i would enjoy it so i'm really excited about that then at farm boy i didn't get much because we leave for vacation in a few days like i really wanted to buy flowers but i didn't so i settled on mums because they were on sale for 2.99 i don't know i'm gonna be a, a queen put that on my front porch i guess where do you put mums on your front porch i have no idea and then i thought we would try it together pumpkin spice kombucha it's the little things that get me excited this is either gonna be really good or really gross but i thought pumpkin beer would be gross and it's really good so maybe this will be yummy i don't know we'll see i'm kind of scared i'm really having all the beverages today i just had like a pumpkin spice americano now i'm having a little kombucha i don't hate it i don't love it it's kind of somewhere in the middle for me it's not bad it just tastes, it tastes like a little artificial in my opinion yeah a little artificial but it's kind of good i don't think i would ever like go out of my way to buy it again but it's not bad like i'll drink it can't stop drinking it but it's also like not the best kombucha i've had but it's not the worst but i can't stop drinking it anyways let's go home put our little mom down get back to work like I say, I say this all the time. I love living in the suburbs because I just bopped around a bookstore, the grocery store, and we're going home and like all on my lunch break. It's amazing. We're having the coziest lunch, although this looks like baby food. My mom always sends us home with homemade soup. So this is probably some kind of broccoli potato leek. I don't know. She uses whatever she's got, but it sounds yummy. And I've got it in this cute little Disney cup. Well, there you go. Now you can tell it's Disney. And I just heated up a bacon and cheddar croissant that I got at the coffee shop. And we're going to get back to work now. And I'm so excited to eat this. It's like so fall and yummy. Stella, is the work day done? Stella always comes and sits in my office and tells me when the work day is done. Yep. Good night work. See you tomorrow.